How's it going today guys? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to flash BlueJay ESC firmware onto your BL Heli S ESCs. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to this link right here esc-configurator.com so when you go to that it'll bring you to this page and you can read a little bit about it if you want it tells you right here BlueJ is BL Heli S based firmware capable of bi-directional D-shot. So it's a good choice if you want to run RPM filtering on your rig. This project also aims to clean up and simplify the original BL Heli S source code. So what you're going to want to do to get this on here first is you're going to select your serial port, which in my case I already have that set up. So we'll plug in your quad. USB to your flight controller and you're also going to need a battery plugged in as well. So we'll connect. We got that. Make sure your props are off always. Read the setup. All right, and this is all your ESC information right here, like you would normally see it in BL Hell Yes. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go to Flash All, select the firmware right here to BlueJ. Uh, you can leave all this the same except for version. We want, okay, want BlueJ. Select the version. I'm not going to do the test, so I'm going to do 0 0.14 version. Uh, for this quad, I'm going to leave the PWM frequency to 24 kilohertz, and we're going to hit flash. And you can see it's doing its thing now. It'll start writing on all the ESCs. And another thing that I thought was really cool about BlueJ firmware is that you can also do the melody editor just like BL Heli 32. So you can put custom startup tones on your uh, ESC. That's pretty important to me. So you can see we're almost done here. All right, so that's all set. So you can see now on ESC one through four, we got Blue J bait on here now, 0 0.14, the version, and 24 kilohertz. Um, I run props out, so I'm going to have to change the motor direction on a couple of these, but I'm actually going to be flashing Betaflight 4.3 on this. And with Betaflight 4.3, you could actually adjust that without having to get into the ESC configurator from the motors tab, which is really awesome. I recommend checking that out. Um, but as you can see, you got your minimum startup power slash boost, the least amount of power applied when starting up the motors. Increase if motors are not able to start up with low throttle input. Um, I'm going to leave actually all of this default right now. And I'm going to get into the melody editor because that's what I'm excited about. Um, I imagine you can write the music like a uh, get the notes off somebody's link. There's a lot of people on YouTube that uh, paste these in their description so you can put custom tones on your ESC. Uh, but with this, you actually have a select a melody drop down menu and they got some already pre-made on here, which is really cool. Um, I am going to do Super Mario's theme. Uh, there's two of them. I don't know. Oh, that's Star Wars theme. Sorry, my eyes are terrible. Super Mario theme. So it'll pull up this, and you're going to want to hit accept for all the ESCs. Write melodies. And that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect, and we should get a custom startup tone. Wow. 
Alright, I'm going to unplug the battery now because that's annoying. And that's it, guys. If you want to put BlueJ ESC firmware on your BLHeli S ESCs, I recommend doing it. It is pretty awesome. And uh, I'll probably be making another video after I put Betaflight 4.3 on this so I can show how everything's running with the BlueJ firmware as well as Betaflight 4.3. Hope you guys have a great day and see you later.